Hey guys, we're at the World of Concrete in Las Vegas this week. Take a look and see what we saw there. Let me know if you got any comments down below. All right, guys, check this out. Virtually, you know, anybody and everybody who supplies something to the concrete construction industry is here at this show. I mean, this is, it goes on forever. We're at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and this place is huge. And this is just a part of it inside here. And there's uh, more parts inside that I haven't even been to, and then there's all kinds of sections outside. So I'm gonna walk through a lot of these booths, and if I see something that is interesting, you know, I'll, I'll video it for you guys, we'll talk about it, show you guys what it is. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you wanna see, if you got any questions about anything, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Hey guys, this thing's pretty cool. This is like a souped up version of a power buggy. Pretty cool, can fit through doors, narrow doors. And uh, man, this thing's nice. I'd like to try one of these things. Hey guys, so we're here at the Marshalltown booth and this is the world of concrete, Las Vegas. We're just setting up here. Show you around, see what they got. This is the Spin Street. They're just pretending that sand is concrete. And that's how you level a concrete slab using the Spin Street. Power cows over here. This is the one we use a lot. This one here, that's the 36 inch. Another one with a little bit different base on it. Go check out the, the handles over here. These are the handles for the bow float. Got all kinds of different handles. Got octagon ones, all fiberglass, aluminum. And they got the uh, Screeds here, the little hand screeds they use, easy screeds with the uh, come alongs. They got short handled ones, they got five foot handle ones, they got four foot handle ones there, and they got the shock wave right there, guys. That's the one that I use. Hey guys, so these are pretty cool. These are aluminum backed and hardwood maple backed concrete finishing brooms. Over here are the, these are the aluminum ones over here, and these are the maple concrete finishing brushes. So they have different textures or different colors. So they got from really soft bristle to a harder bristle, depending on what kind of finish you want on the concrete. And then you got, where they can mount these to different tools. So you can use them as you're finishing your concrete. You can see they come in all kinds of different four foot, six foot, eight foot wide for any type of finish you're trying to do. And then they have their own cases you can put them in also right there. The, this black one right here, this is really soft. That would give you a really fine broom finish. And then the orange one's pretty soft, but it's a little bit more rigid than the black one. And then you can hook those onto this thing here and if you've got a really wide area, 30 feet, 40 feet or more, you can have a person on each end pulling it from one side to the other. See, so you got one person that pulls it one way, then it flips over, and then the other person pulls it across the concrete the other way, and then back and forth. And that's how you'd finish your driveway, you know, your, your wide sidewalk areas, your parking lots or whatever. So pretty cool tool. I'll get more information from you guys for it. Hey guys, so here's classic concrete coatings out of Southern California. So we're gonna start using their stains and their epoxies on some of our jobs, and I'll let you know how they work. But we got a, we got a stain job coming right up. We're gonna make some videos out of that. You can see all their product. They got all kinds of stains, water-based epoxies, um, be able to coat just about anything we want. You can see here how that looks. So. We're going to be using some of their product 
see how that works, making some videos with them, and hopefully you guys will be able to use this stuff too. on them they kind of move around and they leave squish marks and everybody started enjoying and using the seamless uh, texture skins because you could overlap them in any, any way that you wanted to and so we basically fused the two together to make it a lot easier uh, on the contractor while they're stamping and a lot more fun and less work um, with a better result so these are our magnetic pattern stamps seamless pattern stamps and I say magnetic because they have magnets on all the way around the stamp. So these magnets will lock with the other stamps. And what happens is all the joints, when those magnets engage, will lock the pattern in place. So it doesn't matter which way that I spin these, that pattern is always going to lock up. Once those magnets engage, they lock. So I can flip it any which way, and the lines will connect. I can offset it also, and as long as two magnets are, are, are engaged, you can have a different pattern. So there's no pattern repetition with these. With the smaller stamps, you can actually see the pattern and pick it out, and it's usually because of the touch-up that you have to do. But with these stamps, you won't see that. So I'll show you how to stamp it on this uh, special demo sand that we have. The first stamp is key. You lay this down where you want it. You walk it down, lay on it, lay it down like that. Stamp all the edges. Usually you're using a stamp pounder to stamp in the concrete or the concrete overlay. And then the second stamp, all you have to do is lock those magnets together. These, uh, these stamps are fiber reinforced. Uh, the handles are really strong. You can actually hang from them. Uh, they won't tear. Uh, you can't tear them. They're going to hold up uh, for a very, very, very long time. But all you have to do is bend it like that. The magnets click, you can feel it, you can hear it, and then you lay it down. And we've already stamped this first one, so before we remove it, we flip-flop these stamps like this so that we can blur out that edge right there. So I'm not going to step right there, I'm going to pull it back and pull it all the way back, lift it up. And then I don't want to step on that edge to, to press that edge into the concrete. But I just walk right along here, stamp.
I'm actually still losing suction over here. 